all right guys and welcome back to a brand new video on the channel today we're going to be doing an exp guide for pokemon scarlet and violet so if you're new make sure you get subscribed to like the video that way you don't miss out on any scarlet and violet content here on the channel we're going to be doing tons of uploads guys so let's get right into the video for starters we're going to make sure that we at least have our ride pokemon guys so you have to have gone to the school and complete at the beginning of the game to be able to get your ride Pokemon. So that means you're able to freely travel on the map. So what we're going to do here is we're going to press Y, open our map, and then we're going to fly over here. I'll show you just to be, you know, a little more specific. We're going to fly right here to the the bottom center, the Mesa Goza. That's the uh, area where the school is. So you're going to want to go to the West Point if you have that unlocked. Um, I advise you to try to visit all Pokemon centers near you. That way you unlock all the fast travel points. So we're going to fly here. And then I'm going to show you a little trick because it's going to put us right across from where we need to be. So we're going to be at the Pokemon center when we land here. And this takes quite some time to load. So we're at the Pokemon center. And basically what we're going to do is go to the other side of the Pokemon Center right here and you're going to see some shops. So the first one we're going to visit is this little green and white one right here. And what you're going to want to buy is you're going to want to buy some mayonnaise. So you need mayonnaise. Uh, I would just try to buy quite a few. If you don't have cash, you can use league points. As you can see, I'm pretty far in the game already, so I have plenty of money. So after you buy the mayonnaise, we're going to go down to this next shop here, which is this uh, this little fresh produce place. And it's called uh, Delicioso. And then uh, what we're going to buy is the chorizo. So these are the only two ingredients you really need to make the sandwich that is required to make Chansey spawn. So what we're going to do is after we buy these ingredients, we're going to open up our map again. Now, some of you are not going to have this point in the map because you haven't been here. And I also advise you, when you're in your map, click on your right stick. If you're able to rotate your map, click your right stick in, and that'll lock your map. Because what's going to happen is you're going to open your map a lot of times, and it's going to be all twisted and rotated and stuff like this. And you're going to have no idea what you're looking at. So just keep it locked like this, and it'll help you a lot. Anyway, let's get on with the video. We're going to go up here to this uh, North Province area where I got this little marker. So I have a fast travel point right here up in the mountain. So I'm just going to like kind of get down to the bottom there. Got to be careful because there is a Team Star base there. Uh, you can't really just get into it real easily but it is going to slow you down if you try to bump into it you know so just be mindful of that okay so we've made it to our fast travel point here now we're just going to go down the hill i mean it's literally down the hill guys we don't have to go too far see this dirt pathway here what we're going to do is we're going to just make a sandwich pretty much right here in this spot you can see that chanty is on my map uh i may have a sandwich active right now I can't remember if it's worn off or not, but I'm going to make one just to show you guys how to do it. So we are going to uh, start a picnic here. I don't think it'll let me actually. So that's another thing is you got to find like a good flat spot to actually do the picnic, which right here is fine. You can see there's actually Chansey running around. I saw one just walking a second ago. So once you do your picnic, you're just going to go and click on your table with A, click make a sandwich. And then once it opens up, you're going to want to click the X button to do creative mode. Now, alternatively, you can just make a ham sandwich for this to work, but that requires much more ingredients. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna pick our chorizos, and then we're gonna hit the plus button, and then we're gonna pick our mayonnaise, and then we're gonna hit the plus button again, and uh, just put the pick there. It doesn't matter what kind of pick you use for this. And then basically what you're gonna do is you are going to make your sandwich, just gonna put these on there like this and then put the bun on and then put the pick on and we are done so after you make this sandwich what this is going to do this is going to give you a 30 minute boost of normal encounter power 
which makes normal Pokemon more likely to appear in certain areas. Now this doesn't work well in a lot of other areas besides right here, because in a lot of other areas, there's a lot of other normal Pokemon that spawn. So your chance of getting a Chansey is much lower because there are so many more common normal Pokemon. So being up here, uh, you get a way higher chance. So basically we're just gonna hit Y, close our picnic up, and then we are going to go down here to this little dirt path that I showed you guys. And we're just going to ride around. And you're going to start seeing all kinds of chances popping up. There's one here. There should be a whole mess of them down here. Yep, they're starting to pop up all over. And I advise you also to use a ghost Pokemon for this. I'm going to be using Sableye for this example. Now Sableye is already level 76, so the results kind of just speak for themselves um, I no longer have the physical move that I was using for this so it's gonna take a lot for me to kill this Chansey I also recommend not using special moves because Chansey has an insane amount of special defense and an insane amount of HP so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go and switch Pokemon real quick because my Sableye no longer has knockoff I think I was using knockoff before but the reason you want to use a ghost type is because Chansey cannot hit the ghost types. So it will heal sometimes and that is very annoying. And that's something you'll just have to deal with when you're like the lower levels. But uh, as far as like killing these things, if you're using a physical move and you got a decently powered Pokemon, it's not going to take much at all to knock it out. So as you can see, I got over 2600 experience for my Dragonite. And uh, my Sableye is also holding a Lucky Egg. So that's another thing that's going to boost your experience. So to get the Lucky Egg, I'm just going to tell you guys instead of making a separate video. Um, to get the Lucky Egg, all you have to do is get five gym badges. Now you don't automatically get the Lucky Egg when you get five gym badges. You get the Lucky Egg when you're actually going to your sixth gym. It doesn't matter what order you do the gyms in. So, uh, like as soon as you arrive at your sixth gym like when you go inside of the little building to register you are going to get the lucky egg then so please don't write in the comments that you got five badges and you can't get the lucky egg you just gotta pay attention and make sure that you follow the directions and you will get the item so that's basically it for this guide guys hopefully you guys enjoyed this um, these chances they will actually last for you get 30 minutes if you press the right arrow on your d-pad you can actually see how long you have for your meal power forgot to mention that i'll just throw that in there real quick again hopefully this guide was helpful and uh like i said if you guys are new subscribe to the channel like the video comment down below and make sure you don't miss out on any more pokemon scarlet and violent content and i will see you guys on the next video thanks so much for watching